What's up? How you guys doing today? Welcome to Late Night Ranch with Vinny. Um, I hope you guys are having a good one so far. Um, at this moment, I am... Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to jump into Metroid Prime 1, specifically the trilog trilogy version. Because something... I don't know how I didn't know this for the longest time. You could get the fusion suit in this. Now I'm hoping... Hoping... That Nintendo will... F find a way to... Get the fusion suit... In the remastered. I would love to see what that looks like. But in the meantime... I want to play with the fusion suit in Prime. And I didn't realize in the trilogy version... You can get it. In all your little, after I got done talking about Prime 2, I went on here and I, you know, went through some of the extras and I'm like, the only way you can get the extras in this is if you get points or get tokens. And that's what all those colored tokens were popping up all this time. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to start buying some stuff. And one of the things you can buy is the Fusion Suit. Of course, it's exclusive to the first game. So then I realized, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete my file for the first game on here, and I'm gonna start from scratch, playing with the um, the fusion suit. Identify the kind of beacon has been tracked. The sea space. Vi oh, bad there. So yeah, I want. I still want to play Metroid. And, oh, there's a little bit of a clipping thing going on there in the middle. Unless it's supposed to be... I don't know. But I gotta say, this game still looks... Um... Still looks pretty good. I'm curious on what the GameCube version looks like. Because I know they did some, you know, polishing, some up for this version... I mean, obviously, they did more than just, like, function the controller to... Function the controls to be motion control friendly. Now we're gonna... We're gonna polish it up a little bit since we're gonna be in there. Alright. There's the gunship. Where's our girl? Don't keep us waiting. Don't keep me waiting, girl. Where is she? Alright, here we go. The big reveal. And... There it is. There's her suit. Oh yeah, that's right. It's gonna be yellow and red from the beginning. I actually don't know what this suit's gonna look like later down the... Well, Later down the line. It's a pretty accurate recreation of the... Of the suit. Um... Do I really want to go for, like... Scans? Maybe just, like, the essentials. Uh, I didn't actually mean to get that one. Bop. Bop. What, what I will say about the Wii version is that you can kind of go rogue when you're locked onto one thing. You can shoot other things. So that's kind of nice. Same as I was like, oh. Like, I could be locked on to something on the... The right side, or the left side, either side, and just, like, shoot things on the opposite. And then go for the stuff on the left or right side, whichever you're locked into. I love... Well, I don't love how terrible of a shot I am, but I do love that you know, freedom to do so. You know, motion controls does have its, you know, it does have its niche. But, you know, I'm going to try to, I mean, I know there's a lot of scannable things in this first part, so. Oh, 
Like, it feels like everything you have to scan in this first part. I don't know why it's so persistent on the scans. This first part, though. It's like, you have to scan everything. It's almost like they wanted to make you tired of the scan visor from the get-go. Ooh, I gotcha! Got you a little shit. I there's always this little creature that falls from the like the ceiling, and I always have the damnedest time trying to scan it before he runs away. But gotcha. I also give that to this game. It does make scanning certain items, you know, easier. Uh, isn't one of these computer things like? Or am, I, am I thinking of the next room? Space pirate is dead on the ground. Whatever. Kill yourself. Here we go. And then charge. Destroy. Hmm. Dude, I just can't get enough of Metroid at the moment. And that is the only thing that is holding um, the remaster back from being the definitive way to play it. It's just the... I mean, not like I really need the fusion suit. It's just like, you know... It's just the last little remnant of the uh, original games that, you know, needs to be transferred over. I mean, for all we know, it's probably already done. They're just holding it back at the moment. Waiting to see if people go crazy over it. Oh, shit. Okay, nice good look at the map. So, my goal is to at least get to the first boss. And I don't like talking about the Parasite, the parasite Queen. I'm talking like the, um... What's that plant thing? Town for? I don't remember. I never remember its names, but it's that one. It's the boss that you face right before you get the variant suit, or the barrier suit, depending on who you ask. I mean, it's the variant suit, but you know, for rumors to be true, it was supposed to be called the barrier suit, but due to a uh, translation error, they call it. Uh, the variant suit. Okay, there's something in this room that... I think it's this room. That's like a essential scan. Or maybe it's not this one. What about you, dude? You want to die? Are you already almost dead? I like how it just shows like these enemies with like broken limbs and shit. And like, let me die! Please! Leave me alone! Uh, what about this door? What if I blast it? No, nothing happened. And then you have to, like, scan all... Nope. Uh, I gotta scan the missile thing. Gotta get out of my advisor. Blasted with the super. Oh yeah, then the missile and uh, health things are like... In this. Oh, it's this computer. It's this red guy. There we go. That's the, that's the required one. Yeah. Uh, dude, there's just so much to scan. I hope I don't need any of this. Cause I think I need this. No? Yeah, what the hell? What the hell? Destroy that. Scan the area around the... Are you, are you really not going to let me go until... No, let me give you this. Give me this platform. I am not going to scan for all this information. That is just ridiculous. 
There's a ridiculous amount of stuff to scan. You hear? You guys were too ambitious. You guys were too crazy. Take my peas. Take my... Take my energized peas. Oh, I think this is an actual, like, first enemy. Okay, the health is... Done, son. Get out of my way. Like I've already seen this enemy before. Why? Why do I have to scan the enemy with the broken knee again? Um. Oh no 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 no. I love this um. I think, hmm. I was going to say, I think out of all the tutorial sections, this one might be my favorite, but I don't know. I, I like them all. In like all their different own ways. Um, I like the very Halo-esque way they do it in, or well, it's not really Halo-esque, it just feels very Halo in Prime 3. No, let me scan this guy. Um. You got the second prime. <sighs> Why do you exactly from? I think you just show up on Aether. It's just like, what the hell's going on here? Ah, I almost got them both without getting a hit. Uh, charge, and you can use pickups. It's weird that they let you learn this just right before they take all this shit away. Oh, scan the uh, save point. This is an acquired. I like the suit. I like to shoot. What can I shoot? The save and the energy has been replenished. Give me that. Give me my schnoot. This is like... How many variations of dead guys are they going to let me scan? I think I, um... I think I'm specifically getting on this game about... Fusion. Because... At least at this point of recording... Tomorrow... Is the big day. Well, it's not a big, big day, but it's a pretty big day if you want to play Fusion on the Switch. But the Switch version... I'm not really... The Switch emulated version that you can play um, comes out tomorrow on the 9th. So... I am a little excited for that. Again, they always make the boss scans take a little bit longer. I remember the first time facing this thing and thinking to myself, dude, this thing is terrifying. Like, this is such an... It's such an intimidating boss to start with. a lot of people like to use missiles, but I don't know. I always like to use my charge shot. It always felt like, mm! I'm gonna save my last shot for with my P or not my P shooter, my charge shot. I'm gonna make it feel good. Boom! Done, son! Go to bed, queen! I gotta say, looking at the Parasite Queen in this. It just makes me realize how great the remastered looks. 
The fact that they don't have to hide um, their bosses, like the Parasite Queen and Shadow, to hide some of the, you know, graphical limitations. And it's just like, you, you get to see her in, like, full lighting and all of her glory. It's almost like the... <clears throat> It's almost like the developers, like, now you get to finally see the Parasite Queen, how we always wanted you all to see her. And it's glorious! And then, you just keep running, keep running. Kill this guy. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. We only have six minutes left, which is a little too much time. But, you know, of course, this being your first time playing this, it feels like, oh, God, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, no, I'm going to die. Like, could they give me, like, ten minutes? Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. But nah, if you know where you're going, six minutes is one more than plenty. If you know. Oh, okay. Let's go. Isn't this the one with the big old... Oh, no. No, not there yet. Ah! I need to get better about shooting both of them before one of those cannon things sh shoot me. I'm taking some shots, but who cares? Who cares? It's not that bad. Oh, sorry. Sorry, controller. The game got a little weird because I needed to itch my eye for a second, then same as his head. It's like, where is it? Where is it? There, go. there it is. There's the big old... Wrecking ball, jabber, rabber, grabber thing. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Ooh, we get to see Ridley. There he is, that treacherous. Treacherous, um, pterodactyl. I almost forgot what the fuck it, what the creature's name was. Treacherous tre pterodactyl. Terrorizing shit. Sam is like, oh, Ridley. Always running amok, running shit. Again, you know, they also let you use the grapple before you go. They also let you get some... Pretty cool information as far as, like, you know, some of Ridley's, um, weaknesses, you know, pretty early on. Give me this scan. Oh, Samus, you're about to lose your shit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot this. I forgot to scan. Oh! No! Not my stuff! Not my things! Oh, there's the blue suit. There's the fusion. Fusion suit. I almost don't want to get any upgrades with this suit. I really like the blue. Because I just love, love, love the blue suit. Oh god, I was... This little part, right after you lose your suit... Uh oh, did I take a wrong turn somewhere? Uh, where am I going? Um, uh, where am I going? What the fuck is happening? Why am I lost all of a sudden? Where do I go? Yeah, where do I go? <laughs> I'm like legit lost at this moment. 
Did I take it? Oh. What the f- <laughs> That was weird. I got, I got super lost for some reason. But I'm better now. I think that's the most lost I've ever been in that area, ever. And even with that- oh, Dude, this suit looks so good. Even with that, I'm still ahead of the freaking game. I still have way more than two minutes left. There goes Ridley! And there goes us, chasing after Ridley. Because you know, you know Ridley's up to his little shit. And then I earned a token for being the mission. But here's what I will ask. So you got all these tokens in the trilogy version, and that helps you unlock, like, gallery stuff and everything. You get all these color tokens for doing certain tasks, beating bosses, you know, completing the game and all this stuff. You get all these color tokens that do different things, but there's these green tokens... Where it's like a friend voucher or some shit like that. What what are you supposed to do about those? Because if not already, the Wii U is going to, you know... Well, at the very least, the Wii e shop is going to be closed out. I don't... It's, it's, is its servers going to be taken down as well? So where you can't, you know... All of a sudden, you can't be online no more I never understood that either there must be like a lot of yeah I'll save why not there must be like a heavy toll that the, it you know does the you know keep these systems online like old Xboxes um old Playstations and all that alright dude ah I always hate when you're trying to be in a rush, and then you get stuck on something. Then the game's like, oh, you're just stuck here now. There's a couple essential scans here. That little bean thing. What about these mushrooms? Aren't those essentials? Yes. A little spiky dude over here. Neck itch right there. Ah, oh. Zoomers. <laughs> Okay, Zoomer. I'm, I'm sure I'm the first one to ever make that joke. Ow! Fuck you. Oh, I love this man. Do, 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 do. It's not very... It's short and sweet. But I love it. Same as like... Oh. God, I can't wait for Fusion to come out. I mean, I say this like I don't have, like, two, three different ways of playing it at this moment. The beacon! Alright, show me where I need to go. I know where I'm going. I'm on my way there. It, plus, it's pretty hard to get lost at this beginning part. There's not very many places you can go here. Oh, don't forget this. Don't forget that skin. That's some Chozo lore right there. You need it. For you scannables. There I am. Again, I don't... I don't know if... <laughs> okay, so far I am 7% on my scannables. I don't know if that's a good sign. I've never 100% of this, so I don't know exactly what I'm aiming for as far as scandals go. I do know I have to scan that door. Holy shite! Let's see, it's all. It's. Certain items, it's like, I just don't know what is required. Like, is an E tank? Do I have the. So I know there's one up here. Do I have... Is that an essential scan? What about that door? Oh, I think there's some bugs I can run in up to. Up here. Um, if I can even jump. Thank you. 
But yeah, I'm just trying to... Okay, that leave was a bullshit waste of time. <laughs> okay, that was an ass Oh, yeah, the little hives. Okay, so the, those bugs aren't going to come out just yet. Now, what do you want me to scan here? What is this? What's wrong with this rock? These stones that appear have been... Have fallen from the walkway above. Oh. So it actually used to not be a shitty looking bridge. It used to actually be functional. Well, I figured these things. These thing, these little critters were always so annoying, but it's like if you're low on health, they were like a godsend. You're like, oh, thank God. I'm so short on... Not just help, but like supplies. And this is just a quick, easy way to get some of that shit. Shoot these little laser eyeball things. Ow! My ass! Okay, scan this. Scan this tree. That did nothing. What about these leaves? That did nothing either. Now, I know those little mosquitoes pop up at some point here. You can back. I can already hear them. Where are you? Ah! It attacks my face! Alright. Again, I'm gonna save real quick. I don't want any accidental deaths. Not that I could see myself dying in this, but... I'm also not a guy that likes to risk it. It shouldn't take me long to get to the first boss from here. I remember this first part... Like, I never realized how quickly it took me to get to the first boss the first time I played around here. Because, you know, I just didn't know what I was doing the first time. It's so... It's so weird to think about when I first started playing this game. And... I know that's an essential. What about this wall? Not really. Um, isn't it? What about the swamp water? Swamp ass? Does anyone have swamp ass? <laughs> if you don't know what swamp ass is, it means you have a smelly ass. In case the swamp ass um, isn't, you know, a sign of that. And not that the ass doesn't already smell. But if you have swamp ass, it takes the part of the body that already literally smells like shit... And makes it smell worse. Um, so don't get swamp ass, everybody. Oh, 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 bread. Red, red. That's a new one. Red little energy tanks. They gave you 20 instead of 10, like the purples. Get away from me. I guess you could say we're about to face our first boss, technically. But this thing doesn't really have a health bar. You just kind of beat a bunch of those mosquito fucks. Until they're all dead. Blast those little holes that it has. Do I have to scan? No way I do have to scan though. Oh! I haven't even been sitting that long. My butt's already going numb. Let's just be sitting awkwardly. My ass is lump. Um... Oh, I do have to scan these, so good thing I did. Uh, but I do have to scan this robot, too. But luckily, I remember this. Die! Um, I hear ya. I hear ya. Where are ya? There's only two. Um, where are ya? It's like they were always, like, right behind me. Okay. Now, ideally... Ooh, perfect. There we go. Because if you don't hurry up on your shots, um, the cannons will close without you. And then you'll have to go through that whole process of... And then you can get a... In the Wii version, too. I mean, you can get these in the... 
in the remaster as well, but I think it's a lot easier to get up, pick a lot of these off during. I think there's only one left. Ooh, thank you, sir. Right in front of your master's face. Okay, one more. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. Again, a nice amount of them picked off right now. Ow! There we go. Picking them off. Picking them off. Picking them off. Picking them off. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Yeah, come on. I almost could have had two of them at once. Okay, I think it... Oh, there's only one more. Yeah, let me align myself a little bit better. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Just barely evading me. Come on. Ah! You're right there. Ah! You're right there. Come on. You're like right. Stop. There you are. There we go. The Hive Mecca. Is that what the thing's called? Is that what your name is? All right. Yeah! Way to go, Salamis. Okay, go through here. And what do we get? <gasps> A tanky. Or an E-tank. Tanky! And I gotta, I always make the mistake too of like not coming into this room quite yet. Because I'm like, oh wait, I don't want, I don't want to progress forward yet, I want to go back. But then I forget that, oh wait, you actually can't progress forward in this room yet. Because you don't have the morph ball yet. So, you just be going back anyway, so might as well grab the extra health. A whole 99, alright, no, I guess the full 100 more Pieces of health for you. So now dying. Even. And I will say this too. Because this was a big reason why the second game is so hard. How? Is that the first game is pretty easy. Like in the first part where you just get in here. Um. It's like. It almost feels like after you get your first E tank. It's like oh okay. That's like a big relief already. And then you get like, and then you can get your second E tank like not far from here. So it's like, oh, I I can see where the complaints come from. The cool thing about, cool thing about getting your first E tank, or you're not first E tank, but the cool thing about getting your first um, missile expansion is that you can get your second, third. I think you can even get like a fourth, like pretty close from here. I brought my feet twice. You can't jump and get that one missile expansion um, without hitting the swamp ass. But, not only was I not successful both times, actually, yeah, I was just unsuccessful both times. I got the map, I can now shoot everything. And there's gonna be a puzzle in the next room that, despite the fact we have missiles, there's even a thing that we can get in here for more missiles but we can't because we don't have the morph ball or slash the you know spring ball but that will only be for a limited time we can get like a lot of, eh, I don't even like like I was saying earlier where I wanted to save just to keep myself from accidentally you know getting accidentally death to did um after that one E tank is like I'm, I'm good. Like, I'm, I'm already, I'm already like, 
Ow. Would you stop blowing up in my face? Ow. I'm pretty confident in my ability not to die already at this point. And I don't think, that, as far as I know, the fusion suit doesn't really do anything other than a cosmetic change. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna ignore y'all and just go through this door. I'm just gonna go through this door. Um, okay. And, uh, I'm gonna wreck some ass. And... Ow. Ah. Again. You run into these little critters and they just give you more health than you will ever need in this early part of the game. I can't even... I don't even have enough room for all this health. Uh, let's see. Ball. Uh, is there any essentials? I think you are. What about you? Are you... No. Not you. You. No. But I'm gonna get my bow. Oh? Oh, God! Kill all these little flugs. Damn, there's so many. You know, if it wasn't for you guys being weak as shit, I'd almost be scared. Almost. I might have been scared of these guys when I was younger, and I was like, oh, Jesus, a whole room of them! Oh, God! I'm so screwed. Uh, I think it's just these two. Okay. Alright, where is this guy? This thing, I remember scaring the crap out of me. Because it's like huge. It feels like it takes up like more than half the room. Nope, I don't. Ow! Oh! That wasn't even fair, man. Okay, so easy. Just let him go. Bleh! Shoot a missile at its ass. You just gotta do that twice. You gotta shoot a little bit early, too, because you will miss. If you shoot too late, it turns around too quickly. So. I defeated the planted beetle. Is that what really what its name is? Planted beetle? Or did I read that wrong? Definitely number two is very plausible. Oh, is my ball blue? Well, I guess that makes... Ooh, I like this. I like the morph ball as fusion samus. Again, I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. I almost don't want to get my upgrades. I like this suit too much. It's pretty freaky sweet. So now I have to go all the way back to where I was before, facing the boss. Just so I can... And the worst part is, I'm going to pass by like two bo Not bosses. I'm um, two puzzles... It's like, oh, now I got the board ball. I can do the puzzles, right? And you're like, no. Nope. You can walk by them, and you can enter the puzzles. Or one of them you can enter. But you don't have the spring ball, so you can't do it. Or the bombs. You need your little bomb, ball bombs. Otherwise, it's just not going to happen. New. New, 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 new. I try my best not to, you know... Ah! Ow. Daggum critters are all up in my grill. So by the time I'm done with this game, I want to be done with the poison water. I don't want to mess with no poison water no more. You know the poison water when you jump into it and then you burn your feet and you like, you see the your skin starts turning in, into bone. That that poison water. I don't want to. Get, I won't get rid of poison water. Uh, I got stuck. There we go. That was awkward. Poison water into the hole. 
Whoop. This game's fun. I already said this. Um, if you guys haven't checked out my video. Oh god, that was gross. If you haven't checked out my Metroid Prime 2 Echoes review, I recommend it. I had a lot of fun with it. Just, and it's easy to have a lot of fun with it when you have a lot of fun with the game that you're playing. Well, I just got done playing, uh, doing my review of Echoes 2, and... Is this where I was supposed to go yet? I mean, I didn't want to go through this round just yet. But I guess I shall. Ugh. Okay, that's awkward. Well, that looked awkward. But yeah, definitely check out my review for Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. It's a pretty cool it's a pretty cool time, I'm not gonna lie. Reviews like that are easy when the games are fun. What about this? Can I scan the Mitchell? I have to, never mind. What am I doing? What am I doing? And then not long after getting your first missile expansion, or not missile expansion, your first D tank, you get your second one. Oh, duh! I always forget I get to go this way. There's this one part where you can. So in reality, I should have gone after I got my morph balls from over there. I needed to come up here. And go into this path. I always forget about this. I don't know why. Every time early game, I always forget about this part up here, where it's like, oh, there's a, there's these big old roots that would be blocking your path normally, and it'd be like, oh, you can't come in here yet. But for some reason, I always forget about this path up here, and then I get. And then there's a moment I always get lost. I'm like, where am I supposed to go? Oh, wait. Wait, I know. I know. I remembered. I remember. Oh, don't, don't fall in the ick. God damn it. I fell in the ick. It was gross. Then I get to enter through. Ah, shit. Can I get one? And I'll find another room. To get those fluggers. Um, oh! Um, this tentacle guy gets scanned. Get absolutely wrecked by my missile. Or no, it's not a missile. It's just my, it's just my little pea shooter. Oh, should I? Should I scan those little plants right there? Real quick. No, that's not what I wanted to scan. I didn't want to scan. Oh, whatever, I'll come back for it. Oh yeah, missiles. Duh. Duh. Speaking of missiles, we're coming up on another missile expansion here pretty quick. Oh, where are those critters? Where are those critters? There they are. Now I can get a good scan of those. Oh, and then, um... Die! Let me get a quick sc uh, scan. A uh, quick save out of this. Quick save! I love my little, like, Batman, you know, Gatlin, like, you know, arm blades. I got it from the League of Shadows. I was born in it. Molded by it. I didn't know what the dog was until I was already a man, and then it was stuffed into me by bright. I don't remember if I ever talked... 
I'm sure I talked about those movies before. Uh, the first two movies are great. The third one, um, is alright. Bane's alright. Or Bane's, like, the best part of that whole film, which is funny, because people are like, how are you gonna have a villain after Heath Ledger's Joker? Like, oh. Like, it's just, it's such a hard task to follow him. And what I loved is that they did, they did so without copying what they did with Heath Ledger's Joker. I mean, they kind of did the whole, like, where he talks a lot. Oh, what's this game? Does that even matter? Not really. Ow! Um, Vinny forgot how to jump. Because he's an idiot. <laughs> Scan that. And I also forgot that I don't have a charge shot yet. I shall have the bombs and the charge shot before we're done here. And then the variant suit. No, no matter how much, I kind of don't want to get it because I love the blue look of this suit. <laughs> like, I just love it. And I still don't know what this suit's going to look like after it's all said and done. Okay, there's a scan down there. Uh, what am I getting over here? Is it more? Oh, this one. Uh, excuse me. This must be my charge shot over here. Speaking of which. That's it. And the more lore. The charge beam. Let's get it. Ah! This thing is such a godsend. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh. And then these eye lasers are gonna start popping out. Yeah, I don't know why, but when that spe that could sp specific cutscene when they open it remind it looked very Resident Evil Four esque. Speaking of that, I wasn't even planning on talking about this, but um, it's been getting a lot of. Airtime lately. What do you all? What do you guys think about the new Resident Evil Four um, remastered? Because um, you know, I was definitely in that camp of like, dude, don't don't touch Resident Evil Four. Like after the remaster of Resident Evil Three, it's like, well, you don't have to do anymore because Resident Evil Four is perfect. You don't have to really do anything with it. I mean, obviously, it's not perfect. No game is perfect. Ow, that burned. But it's like, you don't really need to do much with it. Um, is there anything I can do ahead? Or should I just move forward? Uh, I think I do have to move ahead. Oh, shit. Dang all critters. But, it's like, Resident Evil 4 is like, damn near perfect it's like you don't need a remake it the game still looks great very much like in this game it comes from that this specific era of gaming and it's like these games you know while some of them can look very primitive it's like a lot of the times developers knew what they were doing with the technology it's like these games still hold up yeah okay come to me so a lot of times, you know, people are like, oh, you don't need to remake them, they still look great. But then they give them the gold old remat, good old remake look. And you're like, oh my god, they look amazing. Alright, fine. I won't be such a stickler about it anymore, I promise. Oop, I'm gonna get my bombs. I can already tell. Every time I enter this hallway, it's like, oh, bomb time. I like this room. I'm also going to get another e tank. That's crazy. I never really think about it. Like how quickly you just gather everything. I got to scan this door. It's an essential. There we go. That might have been one of my scans I missed in my original file. Was the, the locked door where it's like, oh wait, you can't. You can't go through this door until you beat a specific task. 
It's like, all right, game. All right, I see how it is. Let me get this guy. He eats you, but you can't really do anything about it until, you know, you do something in this room over here. Dude, I love the Morph Ball in Fusion Mode. It's got that blue with a nice little touch of, you know, silver or, no, not silver, but gold or yellow. I think it's gold. It kind of looks more yellow. What I'm just trying to say is that it looks fucking dope, dude. And, um, shut up. I'm just waiting for its little eye to pop up. Why that would be a function. Okay, fucking. Oh, uh, you gotta scan the little bugs. Because these are different from the ones because they're green now. Just hit him with the missile. I don't know why I always have to do the charge beam. It's just so much easier to get use the missile. Because it's it's a homing missile. And you don't have to worry about, like, if you get hit and, you know, your charge beam gets disrupted. You can just shoot one and it's over. You just got to make sure you're in front of the eye. There you go. Oops. Wasn't aiming at it. Wait, what the shit? I was just saying how you don't have to worry about the charge shot because it just, it's a homing shot so it's going to get it. And then I shoot it, shoot at it twice and it does nothing. Why are you trying to make me look like an idiot game? Why? Why? Um. Oh, I jumped too soon. Nope. Nope. There we go. There we go. It died. And exploded. Okay. Scan. That's not what I wanted to scan. I wanted to scan my bum. Let's get it. Oops. God, that's... I always do that shit. I always be like, oh, let's get this thing. And then I, like, walk right past the item. And the cool thing about this game, because unless I'm mistaken, you don't get the spring ball in the original Metroid Prime. But the developers, you know, they put the spring ball in this game. But instead of having you unlock it like how you ordinarily would, like by picking it up. They're just like, well, we didn't technically have it in the first game, so when you get the bomb, we'll just give you the spring ball alongside with it. So not only did you get the spring ball, or not only did you get the bomb, but now you got the spring ball alongside with it. Which is pretty cool. That's Those are two great items to get right off the bat. Whee! Oh, wait. Wait, wait. No. Wrong way! Blow this guy up! Blah! <laughs> Okay, so I think I can charge this thing, but I don't think it's required. This thing is, though. Yeah, there we go. Let us go. Uh, I, f I forget what happens when you go through this room. What happens when I make this door available to the public? I love the sound effects in this game, too. I love the sound of this thing, because... Even when I first played this game, that that do do, do do, do do, do do, it just it just it just activates the it just activates that point in your brain that's like oh shit I gotta go I gotta go I gotta go. Before before you can even gather your thoughts, like what am I supposed to do? All you know is like you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. It's cool. Oh, dude, the lighting in this is really see the. Nintendo, you need to get the fusion suit in in your mo, mo fucking game, right? Because I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you, getting that getting that fusion ball or getting that fusion suit for the game 
Okay, it's not essential, obviously, because the game is going to be fantastic without it, regardless, but. It's like, come on, it's just. It's so cool. I just like it. I just. I. <laughs> this might sound weird, but I almost like. I think my favorite part about the Fusion Suit is the Morph Ball. It's just, it's so cool. But that's the specific version of the Fusion Suit, the blue part of the suit. It contrasts very well with the colors. I don't even know if I can do anything when I go into this next room. Uh, oh, no. This is where I get my next E-Tank. And then, of course, it shows you that you can get the Spider Ball later. Which I can imagine for um, Metroid players are like, Oh shit, we're going to get the Spider Ball later? That's dope. Which I think... This was the first appearance of the Sparta Ball since the second game, because you don't get the sec the Sparta Ball in the in the third game, and Super Metroid, which is the third game. But it's it's, it's weird to call it the third game, <laughs> even though it's technically right. It's just weird. It's Super Metroid. You don't call it Metroid Three, as accurate as a statement as it is. They call it Metroid Three. Boom. Okay, so. So, yeah, I'm gonna definitely be doing good on that time. I mean, it's gonna be about an hour. Because. Do I wanna save real quick? Yeah, I will. Now, I could go into the other room and pick up another missile expansion. Or I picked up my charge beams. But I'm going to save it. Because there's also another missile expansion I could get in that same room when I get the spider ball. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold... Could you get away from me? But without further ado, um, let's get rid of this fucking poison water that's inhabiting this place. And, um, And clean this place up. It is nasty. That's freaking gross. I don't appreciate it. Uh, scan this. Another scan for... You know, Chozo glowy things. To activate the door. Oh, one's right in front of my face. That makes... Oh, oh I also gotta be on the lookout for um, those hives. There's one. Not that they serve anything more than just a minor uh, nuisance. <laughs> but, you know, a minor nuisance, you know, is only minor until you're like trying to platform and then one of them knocks you on your ass. Oh, I can get that last one from here. Yeah, I'll save before when I get up there. It's not like I'm in that much of a rush. But I know there's another hive. So Aha! Let me get you real quick before they pop out. There we go. Wait, what the shit? Wait, what the fuck? Okay, first. First. No, I wasn't aiming towards you. There we go. That time I got it. I swore I got you the first time. It's like, these things are only a minor annoyance until they knock you on your ass when you're trying to platform somewhere. And then you fall all the way into the drink. But, uh, let me scan this plant real quick. Because this is an essential. Okay. Blast them away so I don't get burned. But as I was saying, you know, those little mosquito things are... Only a minor inconvenience until you're trying to jump on this platform over here. And then it halts your, halts your progress and then you fall on your ass. And then it's like, oh god, I should have killed it when I had the chance. I should have killed you when I had the chance. Is that an essential scan? I don't think it is. Just had to make sure. Bomb. Doing pretty good on time. I might pick up a couple um, 
items while I'm at it after I'm done here. All right, this is this is like the most. Oh wait, I'm not there yet. I just want to fight this boss so bad. I, just, I, I like this first boss, the first technical boss. I mean, I guess technically, ah, ah, it burns. Technically, we've already faced the bosses up to this point, but uh, a oh, 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 gold already. Usually, I don't see these until after the boss fight, and that's usually just guineas. It's like, yeah, we know that boss probably kicked your butt. Well, here you go. You need it. But yeah, this dreaded boss and its tentacles. This this is the shit that people say like they got like ninety nine percent on the freaking scans, but oh, I didn't get the tentacles. So I wasn't able to get 100%. It's like, what a nightmare. Because you would just... Look. Okay, see, luckily, if you have your scan visor out or... It's like... It's already like, alright, I gotcha. But, I don't get why it's an essential scan. I mean, I get that it tells you, like, about how to... Kill this fucking thing. Okay, let me stun it. I get that. Yeah, I like I said, I get that. You know, it's an essential way to figure out how to take down this guy. But at the same time, I'm like, dude, what? That's such a dick move. I mean, it's bad enough that you, the first thing you have to do before facing a boss is scan him. Let alone, oh yeah, you gotta. What? Dude, what fucking moon, dude? No, 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 no. No, no, no. God damn it. That's so annoying. Alright, that, sh that should be easy enough to get. Because he has to do like his 30 second, like, oh, I'm back, baby. You ain't ready for this. Da 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 And he's down. You get pretty good at like making sure where you're at when you're blowing this shit up. Alright, halfway there. Oh, this guy's gonna fucking die. Take my hand. And. We'll, or we'll take it outside. Oh! This guy's gonna fucking die. What I. Oh, I guess this is. Let me get his taunt out of the way. There we go. There we go. You gotta... Ow! Fuck. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. I still got time. I still got time. He's doing his taunt. Uh, let's go for this one. Ow! You stupid tail! I wish I could go for this boss without taking any damage, but... I'm just way too impatient. I could try, but I'm way too like. <laughs> All right, I gotta pay attention to which one is the nearest towards the last platform I need to get. Uh, so that one. Mm -hmm. 
Nope. Nah, fuck you. Uh, let me see if I can get this. Come on. No, no, no. There we go. There we go. That's perfect. That is perfect. Alright, you're done, son. Nope, nope. Not if you don't fucking hit the fucking target, you idiot. You idiot! Oh, and he's right next to me. He, him and his ugly skull face. And that's it. You're done. You're done, son. In just a little over an hour, but I got him. Goodbye. You're dead. You're done. You're done, son. <coughs> and now, at the very least, the water is clean again. You don't have to worry about that acid water accidentally getting bumped in from those mosquitoes and getting your flesh burned. You don't have to worry about that. Alright, blue suit, I've enjoyed having you. But, gotta upgrade. Like, is it, was there no way you can... I mean, I don't know what the suit's gonna look like when you get the gravity suit, so... Maybe. Just maybe. And then, oh yeah, there's also the Phazon suit. I don't know how this thing's gonna look in the future. Yeah, that's... It's still got the spirit of the fusion suit there. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so, um, like I said, I'm gonna... Doing pretty good on time right now. Um, we're gonna scan this. The water's good. But then this game's gonna also teach you, like, oh, wait a minute. As cool as this suit is, though, it's not that great underwater. And if only you had a suit that is great underwater. Hmm. What an interesting prospect. What an interesting view we just introduced to you. And here's a certain enemy right here that can't be killed by this specific weapon. Hmm. How about that? So first, we just fall down this very long path that we can't get back up to until we get the spider ball. And then where we got our second E-tank, there was a missile expansion that we couldn't get at the time because we couldn't jump or bomb. Dude, I hate this little platform. It's such a dick. It is such a little prick. I'll tell you what. Okay, there we go. Put you in the middle. What? And then I don't have to come out of the ball form this time, because I can just jump now. Let us get missile expansion. No, I don't even know what number of missile expansions I've gotten at this moment. It's been too many to count. Oh, fuck. That would have been cool to get that one on the first try. There we go. Second try's not bad. Moisturizing here. Ah! And skadoosh. Number three. Actually, there's another two I can get after this. There's a lot of... Again, there's a ton of missile expansions you can get. There's always a shit ton of missile expansions you can get in these games. And the other three are around the same area. So... So there's a lot more I can get, but some of them I'm saving for later until I get certain items that will, you know, help me get additional stuff. I'm just going to walk past this stuff because by this point I got too much health to really care. Everything's fine. Oh, 
Um, let's go to this first room, Ow, over here. I'm gonna jump in where I got my first missile expansion. That's it, right there. Could I? No. I was gonna say, can I get my high jump boots yet? I mean, I'm sure there's a way to cheese it, but... I'm gonna try not to exploit. Take out the hive. Otherwise, it's gonna make this puzzle a lot harder than it needs to be. There we go. Cleared it out. Um, that's right. Before... Now, before we do this, I gotta destroy this block right here with my bomb. That way to make this path a lot easier. Okay. Cool. Some of the morph ball puzzles in this are really cool. Even this one, as early as a morph ball puzzle is, you know. God damn it. I did that on purpose. You did that on purpose. <gasps> yes. Son of a... <sighs> I don't have this much problems with staying in the railings. Ordinarily, but... I am now. There we go. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Another missile expansion. Now, hmm. I think there's actually one I could get. Uh. You know what, nah. I was gonna... Where am I? I'm a little disoriented. I was gonna just, you know, try to search for others, but I don't know. Here's an... Ooh. Hello. Who, who are you? Is your name Samus too? It's a little mirror in here that you can see. Die. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go to Magmore Caverns. And then, uh, I'm just gonna... Ow. I'm just gonna ow there. I'm just gonna call it good there. And call it a day. Because, like I said, um, I'm... Not only am I recording up to a certain point, because, you know, I want to see how fast I can do it, which... About an hour isn't that bad, but... That's not gonna work soon, so... I can't stick around and do met, do more Metrod if I wanted to, which I do. I always want to, because I have a problem. I can't stop. I'm seeking therapy. And as I've talked to him about my my codependency on Metroid, he's like half listening, and it didn't take me a, didn't take me long to realize why he was only half listening. It's because he was playing Metroid. On his switch, I'm like, Doc, what are you doing? You're enabling my habit. It's like, hey man, it said, look, I'm trying to get you off of this. I, I, I can, I, you know, I can stop whenever I want. So, all right, Doc, put it down. So, I don't want to right now. Mm hmm. Doc, I think we need each other. I think we need to support each other in this time. He's like, fuck you, I'm playing Metroid. So then I left. Then I came home, and then I played Metroid. The fuck is happening right now? Oh yeah. I'm playing Metroid. Uh, ow! Magmore. Oh Jesus! Oh my visor. I can't see anything. Oh! So 
about an hour in, a little over an hour in, I beat my first boss. I got three uh, E-Tanks. What was it? I got 35 missiles up to this point. And um, I'm looking pretty good. Not too shabby so far. Will I continue the series? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I was just excited to play more Metroid. And then when I found out you can get the fusion suit. I was like, okay. That's an excuse. So I went with it. But. I don't know. Will I continue with this? Eh, most likely not. Because I've already got myself fighting. Um, the bosses and everything. Maybe I can use this. Because I didn't start doing that boss thing until a little bit later. But maybe I'll use this to close the gap on some of those. Bosses I hadn't done beforehand. I'll think about it. I will definitely think about it. But until the next time, everybody. Um, I hope you guys have a good night. And um, like I said, I got to get to work. So sorry, not sorry. I'm gonna have to ask y'all to scram. <laughs> <laughs>